example of successfully collaborating with a globally diverse team? What and, challenges did you encounter and how did you navigate them? In terms of collaborating with a globally diverse team, I work at a martial arts studio called NHC. One of my students, for example, has special needs. Without accommodations or different ways of teaching, the class is not accessible for her. Because I also have autism, I understand what she needs. When I spoke to our master teacher, he thought I was the best teacher for her. When I teach her, I consider things like breaking down the material into smaller steps and also the sensory components of the activity. Additionally, I was able to interview a couple people this semester. Like for example, Roberta, who works with fabric, as well as Sama, who works with a different culture than Maui. Thank you for sharing that experience. It's interesting that you mentioned your work at a martial arts studio. How do you think your experience teaching martial arts to diverse students, including those with special needs, could be applied to an educational role at NHC? For me, when I was younger, Explain my strengths and needs helped others come up with ideas of how I can access the curriculum. For example, at first I needed to wear headphones to block out noise and do the activities. Now I don't need headphones, but it helped at first. I've had a lot of experience with martial arts. I've been doing it since I was in middle school. Two, how do you ensure effective communication within a globally diverse team, considering differences in languages and communication styles? My client speaks Chinese, so I've had to learn how you work with them while they're communicating in a different language. It's interesting that you've worked with clients who speak Chinese. Can you tell me more about the specific strategies you've used to overcome language barriers and ensure clear communication with your Chinese speaking clients? I don't speak Chinese, but I can speak English. My first language was sign language. Three, share a situation where you adjusted your working approach to accommodate diverse perspectives within a globally diverse team. How did you manage conflicts and ensure everyone felt appreciated? My client, who needs the material taught a different way, needs me to simplify each step. For example, in twirling a stick, instead of saying twirling it, I will need to start with saying cues like left hand, right hand. Other teachers continued teaching the rest of the class while I would work with my client and to ensure no conflicts, we communicated what each of us would be doing that hour. Additionally, I have learned that she prefers Chinese food over something like a ba bagel, for example. Four, you mentioned your experience with sign language as your first language. How do you think this unique perspective could benefit NHC's educational initiatives, especially in terms of inclusivity and diverse communication methods? When I was in Australia earlier this year, I had to make sure that the deadlines were in the USA time zone. I had to make sure I was on Zoom at 3 a.m., for example, so that I could participate with my teams. During this class, I also had to conduct an interview of a friend who lives in New Zealand. I had to organize the times according to the time zone and also learn about the Maori culture. Four, describe your experience managing projects with team members in various time zones within a globally diverse setting. How did you facilitate coordination and ensure timely outcomes? I had to coordinate the interview with the friend 
according to the time zone. Five, you mentioned learning about Maori culture during your interview with a friend in New Zealand. How do you approach learning about and respecting different cultures in a professional setting? And how might this skill benefit you in an educational role at NHC? I have learned about different cultures through music and choir, for example. In choir, I've sung in different languages, like, for example, I've sung in African, German, Italian. Five. In a globally diverse team, how do you actively contribute to fostering an inclusive work environment? What measures do you take to ensure every team member feels valued and respected, considering their diverse backgrounds? Without accommodations or different ways of teaching, the class is not accessible for home. Because I have autism, I understand what she needs. Six, how do you incorporate diverse learning styles and needs into your teaching or training methods? Can you provide a specific example of how you've adapted your approach to accommodate different learners? <laughs>